What's up, guys? Anko Spangin here, and today we are going to be playing as Garen in the top lane, busting out my favorite Beyblade on the Rift in Season 11, showing you all how potent this guy can be as a top laner, and showing everybody his new Season 11 build. And as you all probably do or maybe know, I actually do love this champion. I think he's a lot of fun. Uh, I just haven't played him too much in Season 11. But with all the new items, he is actually really, really good. Not only do the new items really kind of shore up his weaknesses somewhat, they also um, they also just make him even stronger than he was before, period, right? And that's like a really big deal. Ooh, that's a good amount of damage off on the HRS there. But he's going to probably start going for a couple more Qs. That's fine. That is fine. But we'll be going Stride Breaker. We'll be going um, probably Force of Nature at some point. Get Dead Man's Plate. Get Stair Axe. Lots and lots and lots of movement speed, though. And Stride Breaker's Mythic Passive actually gives you more movement speed, too. So you are just zooming everywhere. But for the first couple of levels, Aatrox does have a bit of a range advantage on me. Um, that gets less important to worry about as this lane goes on. So I'm actually just going to chill back, let this come towards me and keep on chilling. Okay. Hmm. Actually miss like four CS to do that trade or three. I mean, so I like all things considered, I'm fine with that actually. <laughs> So, I'll just keep on chilling, though, and we'll just collect. Actually, I want this. I'm not really worried. Yeah, that was actually a very little amount of damage. Very worth getting the siege for it, especially as Garen. I could have W'd to, like, shield myself. I probably should have. Not a big deal, though. Not a big deal. Ooh, we took a turret shot for that. <laughs> Oh, he's got that warded for sure. I actually never saw Aatrox ward that. When did he ward that? It's actually kind of confusing. Ah. Oh, I don't have enough AD to get these, huh? That's a shame. Okay, I still got most of those means. Yeah, I'm only down 3 CS so far. That's not terrible at all. That is not terrible at all. Mm, I don't think there's much I can do about this. Like, as Garen, there's really not much I can do in uh, in ganks like that, unless the Aatrox is just really, like, really, really out of position. So, we kind of just bide our time and chill until I'm level 6. And I can really start going for a lot more plays on this guy. Um, I may... I'm thinking about going an early Bramble Vest in this lane, though. Like, originally, I was going to go um, Executioners, the AD item for it, instead of Bramble. But I'm actually thinking that versus their team, Bramble is just going to be maybe better. Uh, is it, though? Hard to say. Wow, that actually knocked me up. I'm very surprised that that, uh, that was in his sweet spot. I feel like I've got Ramus up here. Yeah. Can I do that? Okay, I can't. That's a shame. That's a shame. I actually thought I'd be able to do a lot more damage to him there. So, let's see. Nah, I'm just going to go Executioners. I'll just go Executioners, because I think it's going to be way better. Um, they do have Soraka and Vlad on their team, as well as Aatrox, so they have a tremendous amount of healing, right? But the issue with Bramble Vest is you do not apply the Bramble Vest uh, Grievous Wounds if they do not auto-attack you. So if Vladimir isn't auto-attacking me, if Soraka isn't auto-attacking me, they will not get the Grievous Wounds effect. Um, where if I have Executioners, it will be applied whenever I just auto-attack them. So that's a very big deal. 
Very, very big deal. And I really should have just listened to my gut there. Like, <laughs> I really should have just listened to my gut there. I knew Ramus was there, and I still took the fight for some reason. I could not tell you why. So, he's probably going to be going straight for Gore Drinker. That's fine. Um, I can likely still fight him, in all honesty. But... I don't know if I need to right now. Like, it's realistically probably. Oh, wait, why is Ram is here again? I should be fine. Okay. <laughs> Sit the fuck down, you armored bitch. <laughs> Quit ganking me. Leave this to the 1v1. That was such a perfect flash on the on the Ramus coming in too. We crushed that gank. You'll love to see it. Alright. He keeps trying to hit me by the way, not because he's trying to like damage me a ton. What he's trying to do is turn off my passive. Because every time I take damage from a champion, the passive regen that I get is turned off. But since I'm making it so he's having a hard time hitting me, he's actually not able to turn it off. So, I'll just sustain up very quickly. And he shouldn't have his ultimate for another little while. Uh, his ultimate will be at, back up before mine is. So, I need to keep that in mind. Go ahead and just silence him there so he can't get the third Q off and spin my way out. Uh, I think I can kill him pretty soon. If he goes for any fight, I do have my ignite up, so I can kill him pretty easily. Oh, he's just going to TB back. There we go. Use my Q to bust out of the slow from his uh, W. And I think he's looking to recall and TP here, so I'm just going to shove this as hard as I can. Because this should go all the way under tower now, and I can just run back myself. Yep, there's the TP. Uh, do, do, do. I want to try this. I want to try going this item first. It's a, it's a really good item. It just gives you AD attack speed and then movement speed when you hit stuff. Uh, usually I've been going Iron Spike Whip first just to help with the wave clear, but Garen as a champion just simply does not need assistance with that at all. <laughs> and not even a little bit. Um, and Kindle Gym is a good choice as well. So that's definitely an option. But I want to try this. I want to try this. So he came back with a Kindle Gym. And a ruby crystal. Can I just like do some good damage to this guy? I actually probably should have. Um, hmm. I probably should have just walked. Okay, well this guy's dead. Skadoosh! <laughs> He did not respect my movement speed there from my uh, my Q and my ability to just, you know, run away from him like a scared little forest elf. But I can get a lot of damage off on this turret here because he did just TP back. So good job, Graves, taking advantage of that. And I think I can actually get two, maybe even three plates. And keep in mind, you can use your Q on turrets for more damage. So I am definitely taking advantage of that. Uh, going for a third plate here is really greedy. I'm doing it. Risk it for the biscuit, baby. All right, three plates. Now keep in mind what an insane amount of money that is. Now, the issue is that this puts me on a really shitty recall timer now. Because now he's back in the lane and I have to leave. Actually, I'm going to stay. I'm full HP. He's just pushing right now. All I got to do is clear the wave. 
I'm not looking to fight him for a while anyways, so me staying in the lane is not a big deal, right? Like, if I were actually looking to actively try and kill this guy, sure. I would try and recall a lot sooner. But, I've got no ultimate, no ignite. I don't have any reason to even attempt to fight this guy right now. So, we'll just grab Kindle Jim, grab Berserker Greaves, and get zooming all the way back up there now. Because, see, now that I've recalled after clearing that wave, I don't miss the wave. I get to come back with my ultimate up, spend more money. And I overall miss less minions, because this will take two tower shots for the melee minion. The siege will take seven. So by the time I get back, I'm sure I'll miss the siege, but I think I still get experience for it. And I only missed what? Well, <laughs> I missed a couple there because I was bad. But, come here, boy. Come on. I'm zooming. That's fine. Run away. Wow, that's not good. That Vladimir is huge. Kind of scary. But it's okay. Garen's really good against Vladimir. Like, really good. So, I'm not worried about this guy at all. I'll just. If he's going to ult, I'll back off. I don't mind. There it is. Oh, perfect flash there. Oh, man. I had to W really preemptively from that, um, that Ramus Q knocking me up, and it screwed me over. I almost died because I had to W uh, preemptively. The issue with trying to W Ramus is if a Ramus is really fast, he'll knock you up and then um, taunt you while you're in the knockup. And you cannot use your W while you're already in the knockup from Ramus's bonk. Does that make sense? Where if I use my W preemptively, I'll at least get the shield. I'll potentially, if he does it too fast, still get the um, CC reduction from my W to tap that uh, window of his taunt. So that's kind of what we're, what I was banking on there. Unfortunately, Ramus just came up here and heralded my lane. So I do lose my turret. But that's okay. That is okay. I'm taking a lot of jungle pressure, but it doesn't look like it matters, unfortunately. Because my team is getting kind of destroyed. This game is still winnable, though. Still definitely winnable. Easy, no. But winnable, yes. I'm never going to say that games like this are easy. Um, and I'm also never going to say that people can't have games like this and then get frustrated with them because they can be very frustrating, but very winnable. Very, very winnable. Uh, it'll be tough, though. It'll be nice and tough. Let's get out of here. I can afford my stride breaker now. So we'll grab that. Now, if you don't know what Stride Breaker does, it gives you the babiest dash League of Legends has ever seen. But more importantly, you'll actually hit in kind of like a uh, Tiamat active area, right? I'll use it right here so you can see it. Very tiny dash, but then like a Tiamat active or old Tiamat active. More like an Iron Spike Whip active now. And you'll slow everything in that area. So, really, really good for a champion like Garen who has to completely depend on running after people. But very, very, very good item. Very strong. Very, very strong. And let's get back up here. So. Mm, what do I need? The issue is they have a really fed AD carry and a really fed Vladimir. So... I can't just focus on building one resistance and be fine. I'll have to get I'll have to get both dead man's and uh, and force of nature. I'm just gonna take this and run. Vladimir's coming towards me. I'm gonna see if I can get this. Nice scouted that time. So that was the CC reduction I was talking about. I decided I would just try it for it there because uh, I wasn't in any immediate danger to uh, mess it up. But 
Mm, man. I'm in such a hard position right now. I'm going to say no to this. Apparently, I'm the only one that thinks it's winnable. <laughs> That's all good. Not the first time I've been in that situation. Go ahead and just do that. And Ramus should be kind of on his way back up here, so... Not going to chase too hard. I can look for this kill right now, maybe. Is that going to be enough? I don't think it is. <laughs> I got my spin off. Hopefully it's going to be enough for Graves to be able to pick up this kill. Uh, oh, damn. It won't. Damn, damn, damn. Wow, that guy is monstrous, huh? Absolutely monstrous. Holy moly. What did I take all this true damage from? Oh, red buff and chilling smite. Okay. I was actually confused there for a second. Uh, so... How do I win this? <laughs> I'll have to outplay the Vlad. I'll need to try and shut down bottom and get my bot laners a lead to work with. Yoink. Hmm. Oh, oh, that's a shutdown that we're talking about, baby. Come here, Ramis. I should have maybe flashed in front of that. Oh. I don't think it matters too much. I'm gonna go spin right in the middle here. This is exactly what we. Whoa, dude! Come here, Kaisa. Four for nothing trade. All because Garen brings the hammer down and just one shots the Vlad before the fight even starts. That? I don't know about you, but I think that was uh, pretty much exactly what we needed to get back into this game. I was able to afford my entire Dead Man's Blade off of that. So now after Dead Man's, I'm going to be going for Force of Nature. Because I badly need some MR to try and deal with this guy in fights. Ideally... I'll be able to silence him and one-shot him in fights because, like I said, I kind of wreck Vladimir just as a champion. The issue is he's immensely fed. Uh, oh shit. I did not think they would just kind of stay all down there for so long. Uh, I'm on my way down, but I won't be there for a while. Almost there. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, there's one. Uh, two. Okay. I'm running in. Fuck, I missed the flash over the wall. Uh, no. Wait, why was Annie out of that fight? Okay, it's okay, it's okay. I thought I was going to get that bait over the wall properly, but I messed up my flash going over the wall. Man, still really good. Still another huge, huge trade of gold for us. Four more kills and we get the dragon. Thank goodness I was able to make it down there in time and help out my team for that. And that's the power, dude, of tier two boots, dead man's plate, stride breaker passive, like... My base movement speed right now, without even my Q active, just alone, 431 already. And that'll go up as I get Dead Man's going. This is Home Guards. Don't look at this. This is a cheating. But once this Home Guards wears off, you'll be able to see. Like, look at that. 481 movement speed just all the time right now. Pop my Q, 548. I am zooming around the Rift. Lightning McQueen levels of zooming right now. 
I'm gonna drop this right there. Now, the reason I'm dropping a ward there right now, I know it doesn't really look like, um, you know, we're in a position where we have to worry about them just sneaking Baron, right? But we do. We really, really do. Because if Ramus and a Kaisa that is this fed just go on Baron for 20 seconds, even at this point in the game, they can kill it. Kaisa does Baron way too damn fast. And a fed Kaisa at that with a person that can tank it forever, kiss it goodbye. So we keep that in mind and we throw our ward there. Ooh, Gale Force. This could be a pick. Fellas, just kill that one. Okay. Should be three. Oh, he is zooming in. Is this another kill? I'm not going to go for this. I thought about chasing that way harder, but I don't want to use my ultimate and then not have it for Vladimir. I want my ultimate for the Vladimir. I got this tribe breaker off on him. There's this flash. There's this flash. Oh, okay. That's perfect though. Vladimir with no flash is amazing. Um, let's do Baron. <laughs> I don't know about this. I don't think this is a good idea. Yep. Don't use the ultimate here. Now we can look at the Baron. I need to be the one to split off in case uh, if we see Vladimir on his way over here, though. Because if I do not... Got the Stride Breaker off on him. He's silenced. No! I was in the animation of my ult! Okay, I hope it's enough. I hope it's enough. Please. Maybe, maybe, please, Graves, just shoot the Soraka instead. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my gosh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Sorry. I just can't identify the new items very well just looking at them. I thought I was the only one with Grievous for a second, but okay, perfect. He bought it himself now, and he already had it. Great, or Graves. Jin has it. Perfect. Because right at the start of the game, uh... Okay, my chat doesn't go that, that far. But I pinged Vlad, Vlad, Aatrox, and Soraka, and uh, pinged Executioners a bunch. So even without my chat on, I am trying to effectively communicate exactly what we need sometimes. Obviously, if you're not someone that's inclined to responding, or you're you know working on not responding to people being toxic, whatever, feel free to leave your chat on and just type that out. But I know me. Everyone knows me as like really not toxic. And that's true. I'm not. <laughs> I'm very not toxic. But I will also say that if people come at me with some dumbass shit, I feel very inclined to respond a lot. I really feel inclined to respond, you know, you know, shut down people that are being super snarky, things like that. And I know that it's just not, um, it's not good for me or my focus on the game for me to get distracted like that. So it's main reason I turn off my chat because I turn off my chat because I don't want to react or respond to things that people say. And I also know that most of the time people don't really say anything useful anyways. <laughs> All right. We wait for Jin to get here though. Um, I have my flash. So maybe, hello, that should be a pick. This is the exhaust off on me. I have these two completely out of the fight. I'm gonna go ahead and use Stripe Breaker on him. Silence him, drop the ultimate. No, it's not. I think I silenced the wrong person there. Wait, they didn't kill Kaisa that whole time? What? What? 
How did they not kill Kaisa? Huh. That's not good. I also misjudged the damage of my ultimate, so I didn't kill Ramus myself. I thought my ignite and ultimate would be enough to kill him, but I was off by like 50 HP. Not good. I mean, they're spam pinging the Baron, but we can't do anything about it. It's gone. So our best choice right now is to try and manage the waves and just make sure that they don't have anything to push with immediately after the Baron. They're not doing it. What? Baron was... Why? Okay. I'm okay. <laughs> okay. I couldn't tell you why they didn't do the Baron there. Okay. If that man is going to recall, he just left his Aatrox out to die. Goodbye. That's a pick. That's one hell of a pick, actually. Well. All right. I was able to absorb the taunts. And I should be out of here. Should be a kill. I don't want to use my ult on this, so. I don't want to use my ult on this. I'm using my ult on this. Flash silence him with the stride breaker. Perfectly done. Perfectly done. Uh, yeah, we should go to Baron. Get this off the map. Get this off the map. Coming. We don't really do Baron that fast, but it's okay. We've got more than enough time. And we're probably not going to have a better opportunity to do this. So get this done. And what is... I can get a Kempunk Chain Sword. What else is this building to? Mortal Reminder. I mean, Mortal Reminder has movement speed. I think I'm going the Kempunk though. I think that's gonna be. I think that's a better choice. Cause I need the HP and the ability haste more than I need um like more spinning damage. Cause more ability haste just means more ultimates for me. And more frequent ultimates is perfect. Alrighty. And my last item is going to be a stair axe. So. I'm going to go park my butt in a side lane for now and just make sure that this is completely managed until this dragon spawns because that'll be next thing we should fight for. Uh, you could make an argument that I should just stay grouped in case <laughs> something like that happens where my team just kind of overextends and dies. But uh, unfortunately, it's hard to plan for those things. And if that thing that you didn't plan for it doesn't happen then that's really bad news because you just wasted a lot of time if that doesn't happen all right i mean fortunately graves is taking him on a run right now and that's good so what i'm going to do try and rush bottom here and grab this wave so they have nothing to push bottom with because unfortunately there's not much i can do i'm gonna hit no again Kill this. Let's recall. We don't defend this. We can potentially defend this. Oh, that was the wrong potion. Whatever. Elixir of sorcery. That's fine. I, yeah. I don't know. I don't think it's worth going hard. Just lose the inhib. They made the mistakes. We pay the price for it. And that's okay. Things happen. Losing an in inhib isn't the end of the world. You can lose an inhib, no problem. Especially with a team like ours, we are really good at this. Okay. Oh, nicely done, boys! The stride breaker picks are real. I found the Kaisa too. Okay. No Kaisa. 
but this will put us one dragon off of soul. And fortunately, I even have enough money to buy my proper potion now. <laughs> uh, shit. I don't think I actually go for this. Or do I? I don't think I do. I think they forgot that they're not Garen. Because uh, I was kind of just messing with them. I don't... <laughs> I, I, I guess you could say I baited them there. Unintentionally. That kind of sucks a lot. Oh, shit. Okay. And he's got that wave so I can stay here and... Like this. Graves is at their blue... <laughs> the long dick of the law. All right, I'm out of there. Bye. Oh, no. I might be dead. Okay, I silence him. The W off? Flash? Okay. Taking him on a run. Go ahead. Try and catch me. Oh, fuck. He's catching me. <laughs> Hopefully it was enough. I was able to distract so many of them for so long. Okay, and Graves is kind of just in the middle of Vlad's face. Maybe? Oh. Wait, Jin does no damage. No. <laughs> oh, you hate to see it, man. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Oh, 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 okay, Annie, I see you taking out the Vladimir. Okay, well, that, that actually just potentially saved the game there. They don't, they don't have the pepperoni to end this game right now. Annie just removed all the pepperoni off their pizza. That's crazy. Does he, does he know they're different items now? Does, I don't think Graves knows that they're different items now. Hey Graves buddy, welcome to season 11, where uh, Mortal Reminder and Last Whisper don't do the same thing anymore. If they laugh, he doesn't know. Oh, I don't know about this. Uh, oh, Annie, baby. Now this, this is a pick. All right. And Annie's still alive. Hello. Uh... I am hesitant about starting this. Graves. Brother. Oh? Okay. Never mind. Okay, we just get this. We just get this and recall. Okay, my team should be enough to stop this. They should be enough to stop the Vlad, right? No living. Okay. Oh. Okay. I'm a full build Garen now. Oh man, wrist. Be proud of me for this one, buddy. This is a hard game. <laughs> this is a hard, hard game. I don't have my ultimate up for another 20 seconds, but they don't have a Ramus period for this Infernal Soul. 
So I will stand over here like a sentinel and just keep them off while my team gets this. In case they even try and do some stuff. Nicely done. Nicely, nicely done. How much damage my stripe breaker just do? That's 300 damage right now. Crazy. Alrighty. And I can grab my <laughs> grab my right elixir this time. I will go do that. The elixir of iron. Now I'm a big Garen. Big big Garen. Uh they need to be a little careful while I'm not there. Because I absolutely need to push this out. And someone should get top as well. <laughs> I don't think it's a good idea for me to split, my friend. You guys have proven me time and time and time again that you cannot win a fight without me there. Sit down, Vladimir. Oh, man! Damn good thing I wasn't splitting, huh? <laughs> Guess who's back, bitches? It's the spin machine. Washing machine set to clean. And that's gonna be probably game, actually. Our base should be fine, right? No, 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 what, what are you doing, brother? We've got two Nexus turrets. <laughs> Whatever. Graves doesn't get to be in the family photo. We'll win this one with or without you in the freaking photo shoot, my boy. Holy GG. Oh my God. I couldn't even say my joke of washing machine set to clean very well because I was so excited that we just won that. <laughs> Hell no. Nah, I'm just playing. I could have honored anybody though. They were spam pinging a lot that game. That was crazy. That was crazy. And 42,000 damage putting them in the spin cycle. You love to see it too. What a great game. What a great, great game. I'm GM right now, buddy. And I still... Oh, Jeez. Okay. Well. Nothing to say about that one. Anyways, GG well played. That was a great Garen game all around. Sometimes you just gotta drag your entire team kicking and screaming over the finish line yourself. And that is exactly what we did that game. And you love, absolutely love to see it. Here's the runes I ran. Uh, as always, they are in the description below if you are wanting to try this yourself. This exact build is pretty much exactly what I was would always suggest you build on Garen. Um, there's simply no reason to build much of anything else. The only thing that would obviously change would be maybe the Kempunk Chainsword. Uh, and then you can just kind of get whatever you see fit there. Whether you want a Thornmail, whether you want... you I don't even know what items are good on Garen right now, actually. <laughs> Pretty much either another damage item or a tank item here, though. Whatever you are feeling will be good. There are no mistakes, just fun builds, just off-meta memes. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave it a like and a comment. It really does help me out. If you want to, you can subscribe. Subscribe? Subscribe and ring that bell to be notified whenever I do upload a video. And as always, thank you all for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Peace!